welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome and please don't forget to subscribe for today's video I am going to be sharing my everyday makeup look with you guys this look takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to achieve sometimes even less like sometimes it takes me more time to achieve it because I would be on my phone and doing my makeup but if I sit down and just film without any interruptions it would probably take me about 10 minutes so yeah let's keep that 10 minutes um it's a simple look I use this every time I need to run out the door I need to go to work or whatever the case is and I don't really want to glam up but I just need to look presentable and not like I'm sick this is the look that I choose <laughs> so if you want to see how I achieve it then please continue watching okay guys let's get started shall we so I already primed my face don't come at me I already primed my face but I forgot to hit the recording button before I did that so I'm sorry um, I'm just gonna be applying my Milani 2-in-1 foundation and concealer I am in the shade chestnut I absolutely love this foundation this is like one of my holy grail drugstore foundations like this foundation is absolutely amazing I am going to be applying that with my morphe m439 like I use this foundation brush so much that it's ridiculous like it's my favorite foundation brush I absolutely love this foundation brush and I could rave about it for days but we are not gonna sit here and talk about a foundation brush so the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is applying my concealer I'm using the Mac pro Longwear concealer and the shade NC 45 I think because I took my concealer and left it at my mom's house so I am not really sure what shade I'm in but I will link it in the description box down below as well so I'm just gonna be blending out my concealer and I wish we moved this fast in real life but you know it, it can't all be perfect so I'm just gonna be moving on to setting my under eye area and I'm gonna be using the LA colors I love contour palette <laughs> I always want to call it I love contour makeup palette for some reason but I'm gonna be using the lightest shades in the palette to highlight the areas that I applied my concealer I absolutely love applying these powders with a damp sponge I feel like everything just applies so smoothly and your skin just look very airbrushed and who doesn't like to look airbrushed right I know I do so I just press this into the skin and I work it in next I'm gonna be picking up my MAC studio fix powder and I am using this in the shade NC 50 again I think <laughs> NC 50 and I'm not doing this for additional coverage because this foundation is very full coverage but um, I am doing this because I love the way everything looks the end result after you set your face with powder and I am a little oily in my t-zone so I love setting that area with powder but I go in with the powders and later on I will of course apply some MAC fix plus or some setting spray any setting spray that you love and trust you can apply that and everything is just gonna come together and just look flawless at the end so I make sure that I set my face with powder no matter what okay so now I'm gonna be picking up my absolutely favorite blush palette blush <laughs> my favorite blush palette and this is the elf blush palette this is in the shade dark um, they have two they have the light and they have the dark one but this one is absolutely stunning I'm obsessed with this blush palette I've been wanting to get the ones by Morphe but I haven't really been that interested because I have this one and I'm obsessed with it so next I'm gonna be applying my highlight and I'm gonna be using the BH cosmetics um, palette that they created with Carly Bible and they have like four highlighting shades in the bottom there I am obsessed with those highlights they look so good they're just perfect like 
I need them to come back out with this highlight and just have them individually, please. If you guys know about a highlight that is as beautiful as this one, please let me know because I need to get onto that. So I'm just going to be highlighting my face. And as you can see, it applies so smoothly and I absolutely love it. I am not sure what mascara this is. I don't remember, to be honest, and I can't really see it properly. So I'm just going to be applying my mascara. And of course, I am pretty sure that I am going to get mascara on my eyelid because I always do. There we go. <laughs> I always get mascara on my eyelid or on my nose or somewhere. I don't know. It's just not in me to do a perfect job. So I'm going to be applying my mascara and next I'm going in with my lip liner. I absolutely love this lip liner and I know you guys always ask me where this lip liner is from. So I'll leave it linked below for you guys and if I can't find it, I'll just list the name for it so you guys can check it out. Maybe look it up for yourself. So I am just going to be applying this all over my lips. I absolutely love this lip liner for what you see me doing here. Like I literally fill my lips in with this, put a little bit of lip gloss and I am good to go. I absolutely love it. So the next step that I'm going to be doing, which is my final step, I am just going to be applying a lot of setting spray. <laughs> this is my Matte Fix Plus. I absolutely love Mac Fix Plus, you guys. It is so, so just perfect for my skin. So I am, of course, going to drench my face and then go in with a little more because I am just obsessed with the look that it gives you at the end where your skin just looks like your makeup melts into your skin. I know, I'm obsessed. So I'm just going to be applying that and... I'm done. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me in the comment section down below what videos you would like to see next. And I would, of course, film them for you. Thank you so much for watching again. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.